So hello everyone, so I'm back with another video here. Uh, I want to continue the video update. Uh, and this time I'm going to show you guys the Sweet 100 tomatoes. So this, all you see here, is one single tomato plant. Uh, once you reach the top, up here, about six feet tall, right here, I actually top it off, I cut off the top. But obviously after you cut off the top, uh, what happened then? Well, the obvious thing is that the plant will continue to put out side shoots, you can see here, uh, and it branch out, you know, from a single stem like this, now it's have three or four. Uh, that is just natural. I mean, what else can, can you do? Um, the plant will continue to do that because after, after the main stem has been cut off, it will put out side shoots, no, regardless. So, how impressive this, this plants can be. Look at this, all these tomatoes here, uh, and this one here, actually the second and the third uh, branches comes up, as you can see there from there. So that is not the main stem, actually. That is the second or third the main stem is in there somewhere. And once it comes up here, you can see after six feet, <laughs> it just make a little hook because it doesn't have anywhere else to go. So the, all the food and gravity is pulling it down so now it's actually bending down this way like a hook like an s hook and look at this clump of tomatoes this variety is very impressive i am so in awe with this uh, this sweet 100 variety this season it's mind-blowing how much they actually produce and look at the fruit clumps after clump there are <laughs> literally thousands of fruit on them look at this clump very impressive i mean if you see this live in person it is even more impressive hopefully the videos in the camera can capture all this um, but you know you have to see it in person to, to to realize how impressive this this plant is so here i have some more this is sweet 100 uh, look at this amazing again same thing once you reach over six feet five right there i top it off and it just continued to branch off and there's not much I can do about it <laughs> so it's just allowed to grow oh by the way all this you were here empty space here were the Persian cucumber uh, I removed them all because they they got infected with some kind of uh, you know fungus and it's almost the end of the season for them uh, not necessarily the end of the season but they've been producing so well that I think they've been pretty much exhausted and I've decided to remove them because they, they got some some mildew and stuff on it. So I decided to remove them. Uh, okay, well, let's continue with tomato. And look at this. Very impressive. Look at this. So I have three plants here. But look at every clumps. Everywhere you look, there are literally hundreds of tomatoes. And this one, same thing with this one. Look at this. It come this way. And it's make an S hook and it come down. So all the cucumbers were gone, and now the truss space is empty. So I just allow the tomato just to migrate over. That's okay. That is fine. So this one here, it's a Suyatoro Japanese long cucumber. This is one also a very, very productive plant this season. I probably got about 25 fruit so far, and every other day of the week, two days I will get two of this. It's very impressive. Um, we still have a long way to go in terms of growing season. We're only in the middle of July. Um, hopefully I will go back to the nursery and see if I can find another small plant and I would want to grow another one and see if I can stretch out this the season. So this guy seems like it it's still has a lot of strength left. Uh, it's have several side shoots now. But each of those size shoots actually produce fruit, and those fruits are actually quality fruit. They get very beautiful, up to 10, 12 inches of fruits uh, in terms of length. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I want to continue with the tomatoes. So here again, here's another sweet 100. Again, single stem, and once you reach the top, six feet five. <laughs> I top it off, but it's continued to branch out. So then I allow some more branch from the bottom here, you see that one right there? To come up this way. All this here, it's one single plant. 
very impressive look at this clump here it is so heavy i mean literally i don't know how many pounds but it's just look at this oh my god so let me climb up here to show you um this one is, is growing kind of out of control okay so okay so now i'm up here almost at the top of the okay oh okay so i'm very t high now i'm up eight feet now and it will probably go over to the roof and eventually i will probably trim it off if it get too out of control but that's what happened when they grow so well all right it's a good problem to have okay so let me go get back down here i want to show you some a few more plants okay so here and this two here uh this one and this one on the left on the right hand side of uh, the chinese lufa um, they produce you know this beautiful sponge like lufa soft inside and it's really really beautiful plant the leaves kind of resemble a little bit like the grapes, you know, kind of resemble that. Uh, but so far, uh, they are just at the beginning. So, and then I start those plants from seeds, and I will have two plants here. So eventually, they'll they'll continue to grow and take over this entire space here. So what else? Uh, also, the the uh, ong choy, the Asian wild spinach, right here. Uh, I will harvest this tonight. So this is our third. Uh, third harvest so far. I mean, this is the third cutting so far. So it's been wonderful. Very, very beautiful plant. Okay, so this here, it's the black cobra. Gorgeous looking plant. Gorgeous looking plant. And the fruit is just very, very beautiful. Look at that. Nice, fat looking fruit. Beautiful fruit. Alrighty, so I will show you some more as the season progresses. So hopefully, um, we'll continue to, to, to add some other plants uh, along the way and see if we can continue to extend our growing season. All right, well, thank you for watching, and let me get back to work, and we'll see you again. Happy gardening.